I made a short film called The Weekend. Uh, me and my friends, we love to make these little movies once in a while, and we've been doing them throughout middle school and high school and stuff like that, and we just uh, love to make these movies on our iPhones. And this year around, we decided to make something bigger. And this was our biggest project yet, and this was kind of like my first short film. Uh, even though I've been making movies and doing YouTube for so long, this is my first like actual one. And uh, overall, the movie came out great. I absolutely love it. And overall, it was a blast making it. Was, it took us a few months, but overall, it was well worth it, and we worked really hard on it. I just want to take the time here to give like five things that I've learned along this journey, and maybe you can uh, take something out of this video and provide it to your first short film in the future or any other uh, YouTube videos that you might end up making. But the first thing I've learned is that iPhone is amazing. Uh, it's so convenient because, you know, we don't have a camera, you know. Uh, iPhone has an amazing camera, has amazing quality, and it's so convenient to use. It was so easy to upload our storage to our computers and to edit everything, and it just kept everything safe. Uh, we did run into a few problems with the storage, and I did that end up deleting some some stuff. But with the weekend, we have to take like we took like over almost a thousand videos. It was just overall really easy. The quality looks amazing compared to some other cameras that cost thousands and thousands of dollars to use and overall looks great. It's probably the best way to make a movie right now is just to get out of your phone and just start recording, you know? And the second thing is to make an interesting, fun story. And with The weekend, it is about this uh, these robbers who are trying to break into this house again and they forgot some of the money and they had to go back to the house during the weekend and that's why it's called The weekend. We just came up with these all these fun ideas of like, what if the homeowner comes back? What if like they get into a fight? What if uh, you know uh, he tries to find them or whatever? And then you know the homeowner does try to find them, and he does get out the, the golf club, and then he looks through the house, and uh, we just kept following the fun of the story and where it could go. And you know we are limited to our resources, and we try to make it as fun as possible. You know we're not actors by any means. We don't have all this equipment or anything and uh, we just try to use as our resources as much possible and try to intertwine that into the story and try to make it as fun as possible. And like also with the beach, the beach scenes, we try to, a beach is like 10 minutes from my house and we love the beach, we love the setting of it and I think it looked great. That was one of our favorite scenes in the movie is because it looks so good and to follow uh, your resources that you have with it. And number three is Editing is probably a pain in the ass if you're not uh, used to it. <laughs> so with editing, I have had experience with editing before because I did YouTube and stuff for a while. And you know, I, I'm just a really basic editor. I'm not experienced by any means. I'm not like a pro at it, but uh, it did take me a while to actually edit it. And I used Cape Cut for the movie on my desktop here. We did run into some problems with, with it in the first month or so because I was editing as we were recording the movie just so I can get it done faster uh, because we were recording on weekends because that's when we were available so we had we had to shoot over two months and then we we just edited it in between uh, times when we are available but I love the editing process I love everything coming together and like trying to test out different things like the background noises the music especially the music in the movie I think the music that's something that we absolutely nailed the background music and the music choices as well, those were absolutely great. But we did have many problems, like I said, you know, the first uh, month of editing, we actually lost uh, half of the editing thing because uh, I wasn't able to export it, so I kind of had to redo half of it. And that took me a while, that was such a pain in the ass. It does take forever to actually edit your short film. It took like 30 to 40 hours of just, you know, editing, going through thousands of videos and stuff. And if you're an expert uh, editor, you wouldn't have a problem with this, but if you're pretty new, you would have a, probably a hard time with it. I would suggest looking up YouTube videos and trying to get as much uh, knowledge as possible of like the best editing software. Or if yours is pretty simple, just use iMovie, you know? Or, you know, Cape Cut is also a good one. And the fourth thing I learned is just do it now, just record now. And this is something that Joel Haver taught me because Joel Haver, uh, if you've seen him, he is a big proponent in just recording and making a movie right now. And he makes these amazing like feature films. He, he just records like right now. He doesn't have a plan in anything he does. He just records now and just follows the fun and just follows the story and whatever it could be. And he does have this motto like if you could tell a story right now, 
what would it be, you know? So that's kind of what we did when we were planning out the weekend. Like, if we could do it right now, what would it be? Uh, we would do it in our home. This is my house, you know? I, I re we record it in our house. We record at the beach, you know? We use all these different locations and that were available to us. And don't overthink everything, you, you know, you might have this grand idea for like this mob movie or whatever. But if you could honestly make a short film right now, if you can make a movie or a YouTube video right now, what would it be? What would it contain? And also just do it now. And the fifth and final thing that I've learned is just, just to have fun with it. And when making The weekend, it did have its ups and downs. Uh, you know, when I was editing it, mostly in the editing room. But whenever we were on set and we were recording, we just had so much fun with it. We had so much fun recording every single shot. Even when people messed up, even when Evan messed up his lines so many times, even when I messed up my lines, uh, we just had so much fun with it. It was such a blast. Uh, we got so many laughs with it. And just have fun with the process. And you'll make a great movie no matter what. So that's all I got to say. Uh, best of luck with making your short film. If you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, check out the link in the description and we can talk about writing, filming, YouTube, and whatever you want. And with that being said, best of luck with making your short film. I'll see you guys soon.